Sliders are classic Americana. Check out these three crucial steps that make a hamburger a traditional slider. Sliders were born in the diners and hamburger shops of days past, but they're still relevant in food culture today. Let's follow the steps that make it a traditional slider, because if you're not doing it this way, you're just making a mini burger. You can't have the best sliders without the best beef. We'll be using certified Angus beef, 80% lean ground chuck, because if it's not certified, it's not the best. To start, divide the ground beef into 12 balls, about two ounces each. The traditional slider should be between one and a half and two ounces per patty, so might as well go on the heavier end of that spectrum. Loosely form the balls of beef. There's no need to pack them tight because they'll be harder to smash onto the griddle. That spectacular marbling is going to render beautifully and cook the onions in all that delicious beefy goodness. It's important that all these are the same size, so use a kitchen scale if you really want to be accurate. And you'll want to refrigerate the beef while you prep the rest of the ingredients. Next, let's go to work on this onion. A medium dice is a good size because too small and the onions will burn right away and too large of a dice and they won't cook through. It's nice to have a little texture to the onion, but you don't want them totally raw. A great addition for texture is a little bit of shredded iceberg lettuce. Remove the core and slice it super thin. Shredded is easier to divvy up amongst the burgers rather than trying to use torn pieces of the leaves. Realistically, iceberg lettuce is the best for burgers because it doesn't wilt easily and packs a ton of crunch. Here's another key element to the classic slider. A simple, soft, white roll that will be heated on the grill. Hawaiian rolls are perfect for this slider because you can build the sliders all at once and then separate them. It's a lot quicker and easier than building 12 individual sliders. Use a sharp serrated knife and cut across the buns horizontally, leaving them all connected. Butter the cut side, then place them on a preheated griddle. Cook over medium heat until nice and toasty. This will help them hold up to the burgers and toppings and not get overly saturated from all those delicious burger juices. Building the bottom layer of the slider will give you a good landing spot for your burgers so that they come directly off the griddle and right onto your buns. Starting with a base of mayo will help to prevent the bottom bun from getting too soggy. Think of it like a creamy waterproof barrier. Next, a little yellow mustard will give it some zing. And please don't put ketchup on it. For a little extra tang, we've got some dill pickles. These pickles are big enough that each slider can have one. If they're smaller, just overlap them since these will be cut into individual burgers later. Finally, add that shredded lettuce and your build is almost complete. Having these ingredients down on the bun will make it quick and easy to finish those sliders as soon as they come off that griddle. Preheat the griddle to medium, then get the onions cooking with a little bit of canola oil. Cook in an even layer about the size of the package of buns. You want to cook the onions for a little bit until they start to take on a golden color and start to soften. These onions will provide a great base for these burgers, as well as the steam from the onions will bring a ton of flavor. Once they have mostly cooked through, we have our onion base and it's time to introduce the beef to the griddle. The final step to the traditional slider is to smash the beef right into the onion. This is a classic technique that really adds to the authenticity of the slider. Place the beef down and smash the balls into thin patties while keeping them close together and in a similar size to the sheet of buns. Remember that the burgers will shrink some while cooking. Using two spatulas will help for leverage when smashing the beef patties and will make picking up the sliders along with the onions a lot smoother. Season with a good sprinkle of some coarse salt and a nice cracked pepper. Look at all the steam coming off those beauties. This is where the onions and the smashed beef patties become one. Some griddles will have hot spots, and this one is quite a bit hotter in the center than it is on the sides. If your griddle does this, make sure to rotate these patties for even cooking. Using a long spatula, scoop up the center row, then slide the outside row of sliders into the center and repeat on the other side. This will ensure that all the sliders are done at the same time. 
Once you see some juices begin to pool at the top of the sliders and some color developing around the edges, it's time to flip. Once again, using a long spatula will come in handy so that you can flip three at a time. And if you don't have a long spatula, just work as quick as possible. As soon as they're all flipped, you'll want to hit them with the cheeks. One slice should easily cover two burgers, so just get a couple rows of cheese down and allow it to melt. All the steam from the burger juices and onion will melt the cheese, so just let them sit there and do their thing. When those sliders are cooked through, you're ready to finish the build. Make sure that when you're scooping them up, you bring a bunch of those onions along with the patties. When laying them down, it's okay if the sliders need to slightly overlap when you put them onto the buns. Just make sure they fit tight together with a bun for each slider. Looking at all these juicy burgers and gooey cheese, it seriously makes my mouth water just building these. If you're a burger lover, having these sliders in your arsenal is a must. Once the top bun is on, use a serrated knife to cut them into individual sliders. This will ensure that the buns come loose without tearing them, and if there are any overlapping ingredients, they won't fall off when pulling apart. There you go, the classic American slider. I guarantee you, after trying this recipe, you're gonna be craving these sliders. Now I finally get to dig in. Oh yeah, these are so sloppy. Just embrace the mess. Mm. This burger is messy and absolutely delicious. Remember to like and subscribe and join us again here in the Test Kitchen at Certified Angus Beef.